Um, Andrew, we have a question here from Louis. I'm thinking of coming to the United States to study on a student visa. Can you explain what an F1 is and an OPT? Sure. So an F1 is a student visa that is um, allows you to come to the United States and study in a degree seeking program. Um, the process is pretty straightforward. Uh, you just need to reach out to, well, first you need to find the program that you're interested in um, and then apply to the school. The school will then issue you what's called an I-20. Um, and then with that I-20, um, along with a few additional documentation, uh, you will then make an appointment with the U.S. Embassy uh, for an F-1 visa. Um, you will then come to the U.S. on the F-1 visa. Uh, you will go to your school, pursue your program. Um, and then once you finish your program, um, the every school uh, that's um, accredited will allow what the USCIS allows for F1 students once they finish their program to engage in what's called OPT optional practical training and that's the ability to be able to work uh, in your field after you graduate um, and the good news there is um, if you are uh, you know seeking to permanently in you know uh, reside in the US, uh, what I tend to see is a lot of students will get on their OBT and then they will find an employer that's willing to sponsor them for a green card. And so that's kind of the pathway that a lot of students take is that they come here, they study, they get their degree, and then they pursue OPT. And while they're pursuing their OPT and working, then the uh, sponsor can then file their green card and, you know, and then move forward from there. Okay, thank you for clarifying that, Anshu. Um, and at Kinetics USA, we have many students that we've got green cards for. Mike, did you want something to, did you want to add? Yeah, let me add something to that, going back to the uh, visa bulletin that was put up earlier. If you are a individual uh, from India or China, the path of coming as a student is available to you, and the path of being getting OPT is available to you, but the path of staying while waiting for green card sponsorship is not available to you because the line is too long. So the fact that your uh, hospital that you worked for on your OPT sponsors you for a green card, all they can sponsor you for is the first stage, which is referred to as the I-140. And then you would have to go home and wait in the queue. And it's obviously so long that it would be, I find it would be very unlikely that anyone would do that. So that path works great for any countries other than India and China. Okay.